Hello. <laughs> we'll sing God on Ghana. Thank you so much for coming around. Thanks for coming around. <laughs> Thank you. You've given me a thumbs up already. Thank you so much. We'll sing God on Ghana. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming around. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming around. Yeah. Today is going to be another interesting one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. Thank you. We'll see God on Ghana. Good afternoon, everyone. Morning, wherever you are watching me from. All right. Please let me quickly share myself out. Let me quickly share myself out. Let me quickly share myself out. Okay. I want to talk about my last live stream. I talk about good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. So we want to talk about those lifestyle changes and food we can actually take in order to boost in order for us to boost our good cholesterol so okay thank you so much for coming around i'm just trying to share myself out okay just trying to share myself out okay yeah thank you Thank you, Wilson Gordon Dana. Thank you so much for coming around. Who else do we have in the building? Who else do we have in the building? Wilson Gordon Dana, are you still there? Are you still there? So, who else do we have in the building? If you would like to join me, I will just be dropping the link right away. So that if you like to join me on screen, you can come around and join me on screen. So if you would like to join me on screen, you can come around and join me on screen. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll see God on Ghana. <laughs> thank you. So today we want to talk about good cholesterol and also how we can improve on our good cholesterol yes how we can improve on our good cholesterol that is actually what we want to talk about today and in my last episode my last live stream i took time to talk about what cholesterol is all about and today i'll be shedding more light on how we can improve the good ones we have good cholesterol we have bad cholesterol and cholesterol are waxy substances that are found in the cells of the body and they are needful for the proper functioning of the body, functioning of the hormones. But we have the good ones and we have the bad ones. And it is the bad ones that kind of cluster in the in the wall of the blood vessels. Erica BTV, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for coming around, Erica BTV, yes. Everyday Matters, thank you so much for coming around. Everyday Matters, how are you doing? How is the family? Thank you. I appreciate your coming, Erica BTV and Everyday Matters, yes. So like I said in my last live streaming, we took time to talk about cholesterol. Cholesterols are needed by the body. We need cholesterol for functioning of hormones. It's, found, it's a waxy substance that is found in every cell in the body fine but at the same time we have the good ones and the bad ones and it is the bad ones that could cluster in the wall of the blood vessels to form what is called the plague and the plague can eventually hinder the free flow of blood around the body yeah thank you lkb <laughs> tv thank you so i'm just trying to paraphrase where we stopped two weeks ago you understand i'm just trying to Quickly give a quick summary of where we stopped two weeks ago to understand. So at the same time, I will want to take the time of people that are on the stream already. So please, if you can share me out, kindly do so that we can get on moving. 
Okay, so I said we have the bad ones that cluster in the wall of the blood vessels. They prevent the flow of blood to the, you know, around the body. And when sufficient blood doesn't get to the brain, stroke could come in. When sufficient blood doesn't get to act, then act disease could set in. Hands cooking and more. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming around. Hands cooking and more. It's a pleasure having you around. How are you doing today? How is your family? Hands cooking and more. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming around. Thank you for coming around and cooking and more. So I was talking about cholesterol because the major cause, the leading cause of death all over the world now has to do with heart disease. Heart disease is one of the leading cause and a major factor when it comes to heart disease is high cholesterol. You could see someone that is not even fat, but the person has high cholesterol. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Just cooking them more. I understand. So someone may just have oh Sky Figo TV. Thank you so much for coming around. Sky Figo. Good afternoon to you and your family. Thank you. I really appreciate your coming. Thank you, Sky Figo TV. So two weeks ago, because last week I just had a premiere. I streamed last two weeks ago, and we talk about good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. So that is where we are going to continue from. The leading cause of death in the entire world, apart from the ravaging COVID-19, is heart disease. And heart disease doesn't have to do with her. This person is fat or this person is slim. Nobody can be slim and have heart disease. Oh, Sky Figo, thank you. Thank you so much, Sky Figo. So someone can actually be slim and still have heart disease. Someone can be slim and still have high cholesterol. You understand? So it doesn't have to do always with her. This person is fat. And so this person has high cholesterol, well, this person is slim, this person cannot have high cholesterol. So when the cholesterol in the blood is too much, cholesterol in the body is too high, the flow of blood will be in that. The free flow of blood around the body will be in that because those vessels that are carrying blood, the arteries, veins, capillaries, the cholesterol will block them and blood will not be easily circulated around the body. So when blood is not easily circulated, if enough blood doesn't get to the brain, someone could end up having stroke. Thank you so much for sharing and speaking and more. Thank you. Thank you, Everyday Matters. Thank you, everyone, for sharing me out. Thank you so much. So when enough blood doesn't get to the arteries of the heart, to the arteries that, that, are, that are pumping the blood, then heart disease could set in. So it is necessary that we take care of our cholesterol levels. And, you know, once in four years, one in, once in six years is a very good one. Just go to your doctor. Tell your doctor that you want to check your cholesterol level. There are some people we see today and tomorrow we hear they have stroke and I'm like, how did this person have stroke? You understand? Because their cholesterol levels could be so high. And some people you just see, ah, this person already has heart disease. You begin to wonder how. So when cholesterol levels is high, it is very, very bad for the body. And today we want to discuss, we want to talk about those foods one can actually take in order to boost your good cholesterol. Like I said, the bad ones cluster in the wall of the blood vessels. Why the good one will pack the blood with bad ones? And the other cholesterols in the body and take them to the liver from the liver they are broken down and then they are further expelled out of the body so we have three types of fats we have saturated fat we have unsaturated fat and we have triglycerides so your good cholesterol will help you to work on you know all these other flush out the unnecessary ones out of your body so you are all welcome welcome and welcome to the live stream today we want to talk about food and lifestyle changes to boost your good cholesterol, food and lifestyle changes to boost your good cholesterol. So I'll be starting with the food because you know garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> we eat every day, so I'll be starting with the food. Yeah, I'll be starting with the food. Please, if you would like to join me on the stream, let me know so that I can easily drop the link. Okay? Thank you so much. If you would like to join me on the screen, please let me know so that I can drop the link right away okay okay so like i said i'll be starting with the food right away and the very first thing i'll be saying today is boost your omega-3 fatty acids yes boost your omega-3 fatty acids and boosting your omega-3 fatty acids is not that difficult oh we've seen god on you are welcome back <laughs> that was actually the first person that came into the stream today so thank you so much for coming back We'll sing God. I'm doing fine. 
I'm doing good. Thank you so much for coming back. We've seen God or so. I want to start right away and I said the very first thing, the very first food changes you need is to omega-3 fatty acid. Boost your omega-3 fatty acids. And how do you boost your omega-3 fatty acids? Wow. You can actually easily boost that by taking fatty fish. Yes. Fatty fish. Yeah. Thank you so much. We've seen, we've seen God on Ghana. So you can boost your omega-3 fatty acids by taking fatty fish. So Fatty fish is a source of lean protein and omega-3 fat, uh, omega fatty acids. And studies have shown that they have three types of omega-3 fatty acids that help to reduce the risk of heart disease and also help to reduce the chances of developing heart attack and also to lower your cholesterol level. So when I say fatty fish, I'm talking about salmon, albacore tuna, I'm talking about your mackerel, I'm talking about all those fishes. So they contain... You know, essential fatty acids that hinder the clogging of your arteries. For example, <laughs> we see God. <laughs> so, for example, they contain linoleic acid, they contain isopta, pentanoic acid. Don't pay attention to the acid, to the chemicals anyway. And they also contain docosahexanoic acid, DHA. And all these are found in fatty fish. So, like I said, we have sardines, salmon, abacore tuna, alibot, even your cod. So these dishes, while you take them, you may not even fry them. Just grill, just roast them, or you bake, or you broil them. Yes, and cooking them all. We have cooking channels here. So you may not even need to fry the, the, the your, your fish. You could just bake it, grill it, broil it, roast it, or bake it. So that is it for for your fish yes that is it for your fatty fish so it's good to take fatty fish like two to three times in a week it's a very good one you could take fatty fish two to three times in a week so and a very good way to to boost your omega-3 fatty acids is to take fatty fish now let me quickly say that there are some people that need medication medication they need drugs in order to lower their cholesterol so Apart from the fact that you, you, you take note of these foods I'm going to be talking about and the lifestyle changes I'll be talking about, you need to also take medications and that's why you should always be in touch with your doctor. And such people, there are people that their cholesterol levels are high enough to increase their risk of cardiovascular disease. So people that their cholesterol level is so high that it could result into heart disease, could result into stroke and the likes, then doctors have to give you medications examples of fatty fish oh i have mentioned them we have sardine we have mackerel we have halibut we have cod we have albacore tuna you understand so salmon a lot of people love salmon salmon is very rich in omega-3 fatty acid so these are good examples of fatty fish and like i said for people who their cholesterol is so high that it will result into heart disease such people need medication. So the doctor will end up telling you, go and buy this particular drug, or they tell you, take this particular drug. Okay. So people who also have high cholesterol, or people who have a, a, a past event, previous event of cardiovascular disease. So such people will need to take medications too, you know, stroke, heart attack, and the likes, diabetes. So at the same time, some people have a strong family history of high cholesterol. So if you know that high cholesterol runs in your family, such a person too might need medication apart from food and lifestyle change. That is why it's important for you to observe what happens in your family line. You understand? If that person dropped dead for high cholesterol, that person dropped dead for stroke, that person dropped dead for heart disease, the other one dropped dead for stroke, then you need to go and check your cholesterol level. You don't even need to wait at all. You do need to go and check your cholesterol level so for people who have family history of high cholesterol which is known as familial hypercholesterol cholesterolemia you know? <laughs> so such people need medication too in order to reduce their cholesterol level and so they may be recommended to take medication so that is it that is just a, a point i want us to know so talking about the food now i said the very first thing is Boost your omega-3 fatty acids. Boost your omega okay. So the second thing I want to talk about is I should cherish whole grains. 
cherish old grains yes because old grains are rich in fiber so that's why you actually need to cherish old grains and what are foods that you can find old grains for example oats yes you could take oatmeal oatmeal you know oats are loaded with soluble fibers and soluble fibers can help you to keep keep your bad cholesterol from being absorbed into your bloodstream isn't that interesting so oatmeal is a very good one old grains are very good because they are rich in fiber which will slow down the absorption of bad cholesterol into your bloodstream so oatmeal is a very good one your beans and your and your legumes too they contain fiber beans and legumes for example lentils black beans kidney beans they are very good for the body they, they are rich in fiber so you could just prepare lentils with your beans your black beans and add your chick chickpea to it and that's a great source of, of cholesterol friendly soluble fiber so kidney beans also contains antioxidants which can raise your good cholesterol antioxidants when you say something is anti it is against something anti-corruption antioxidant so antioxidant prevent oxidation which is a process that happens and then the, the cells of the body becomes damaged so and then the cells of the bodies become damaged so they are rich in antioxidants kidney beans are rich in hey amen's kitchen <laughs> thank you so much for coming around amen's kitchen it's nice having you around it's nice having you around i'm trying to scroll up i don't really know why it's not scrolling up so thank you so much for coming around Ames Kitchen. Thank you. Please, if there's anyone who would like to join me on the stream, please kindly inform me if you would like to join me on the stream. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ames Kitchen. So I've talked about boosting your omega-3 fatty acids. Now I'm talking about fibers. You need to take foods that are rich in fibers. I mentioned oatmeal and I said beans and legumes too. Kidney beans, black beans, they are rich in fiber. And fiber slows down the absorption of bad cholesterol into your blood stream. Okay, thank you so much for coming around once again. So another food is barley. Barley is barley are also rich in fiber. Yes, you could try it as an alternative to oats. You could try barley as an alternative to oats for a hearty breakfast porridge. So just you could just throw it into your salad or add it to your bean and your vegetable soups. You no know, barley barley are also good sources of of fibers so they are good sources of fibers go for fi foods that are that are rich in fibers old foods and they also help to you know boost your good cholesterol they have to boost your good cholesterol so whole grains foods rich in fibers they are excellent now the third thing i'll be talking about is go unsaturated make it unsaturated so like I said initially, we have three types of fat. We have saturated fat, we have unsaturated fat, we have triglycerides. So when you go for a cholesterol check, these are the things you'll be checking out for. They check for your good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, your triglycerides. So what the body really needs is unsaturated fat. The body needs unsaturated fat. Unsaturated fat are very good for the cardiovascular system. So make sure you go unsaturated. And how do you go unsaturated? Number one is take olive oil. Yes, olive oil. You can use it in your salad dressing. You can use it in your sauces. You can use it to add flavor to your food once they are cooled. You can also add them to your soups in moderation. Now, let me quickly say this. I said this in my last live stream. Palm oil contains saturated fat. So when you are cooking with palm oil, make sure that you use palm oil in minute quantity. Use palm oil in minute quantity because palm oil contains saturated fat. All these vegetable oil, palm oil, most of them contain saturated fat. But if you are looking for unsaturated fat, then you've got to go for olive oil. So olive oil are very rich in unsaturated fats. You could also get unsaturated fats from your nuts. Yes, nuts are also rich in unsaturated fats. Okay, thank you for staying there. <laughs> Thank you, Winston Gordon. Thank you. So I said nuts are also rich in unsaturated fat. So we have, you know, wild nuts, hazelnuts, brazil nuts, they are all rich in 
unsaturated fat. So, for example, walnuts. Walnuts contain poorly unsaturated fat that play a key role in improving your total cholesterol ratio. And at the same time, if you are not a fan of fish, you know, like the other day we are talking about, you know, fatty fish, and somebody mentioned precious meal mentioned that you know she's kind of allergic to fatty fish. So if you are allergic to fatty fish, you could take walnuts because walnuts are also rich in omega-3 fatty acid. So if you are the type that is allergic to fatty fish, tuna, mackerel, sardine, salmon, you know, olives, cod, you could actually go for walnuts. They are rich in omega-3 fatty acid. So two to three handfuls. This is your handful. And anytime you are eating, please try as much as possible to pay attention to portion sizes. So this is your handful of nuts. Two to three of these every day is very beneficial for your heart very beneficial for your cardiovascular system, the proper functioning of your heart and your blood vessels, two to three handful of your nuts every day. So you could take that wild nuts every day. At the same time, we also have almonds. You could go for almonds too. You could go for almonds too. Whole almonds, almonds butter. They are good sources of LD monounsaturated fatty acids and they can help to also improve your total cholesterol ratio so they are also rich in plant plant compounds that are structurally similar to cholesterol and they help to block cholesterol from being absorbed into your gut they help to block cholesterol from being absorbed into your gut so you could go for almonds it could be the old almonds itself it could be almond butter you understand okay so that is it for unsaturated avocado is not left out to avocado olive oil is the best yes my sister olive oil is the best in fact i'm trying to make sure that all my dishes now i'm just using olive oil yes even when i prepare my soup when i prepare my stew i just want i've just started using olive oil olive oil now you understand olive oil is the best so avocado like i said contains plenty of monounsaturated fats and it also contains fibers and fiber slows down the absorption of cholesterol into your bloodstream and the both of which are key roles in keeping your cholesterol levels healthy so avocado walnuts almonds beans and legumes oatmeal olive oil fatty fish these are the things i've mentioned so far all right so let's move ahead now I'm going straight to after I mentioned barley too under under the fiber. So another thing I want to talk about now is berries. Now, when it comes to berries, berries are excellent. Berries are very good for the proper functioning of the heart, functioning of the cardiovascular system. Berries, berries are very, very good. And we have different varieties of berries. We have strawberries, we have raspberries, we have blackberries, we have blueberries, we have cranberries. <laughs> We have a lot of berries and berries they are chock full of antioxidants i explain what antioxidants are the other time they prevent damage of cells so they are chock full of antioxidants which are linked to the lower inflammation and also LDL cholesterol levels so for example tannin phen 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 phenolic acids they are found in berries so berries are very good you could just prepare a berry smoothie you know one of these days i'm going to be doing that just prepare buy different different berries blueberries blackberries cranberries raspberries blackberries and blend them together that is actually very good for the for the cardiovascular system your body will thank you your body is going to thank you for doing that so that is it for berries another fruit i'll be talking about is apple so i'm talking about fruits now i'm in number four now and i'm talking about fruits my number one was boost your omega-3 fatty acids and that you can do with fatty fish. My number two was cherish old grains. Old grains slow down the absorption of cholesterol into your blood. My number three was go for nuts. Yes, go make it unsaturated by going for nuts because most of our nuts contain unsaturated fatty acids, unsaturated fats. Okay, so my number four is don't joke with fruits too. And I've mentioned berries. I'm also talking about apples now. I hope my connection is very all right. I hope my connection is very all right. 
and if you would like to join me on the screen i will actually love to you know i would like to drop the link if you want to if you want to join me on the screen i would like to drop the link if you would like to join me on the screen I hope everyone is still there. Yeah, I know we are still there, but I'm not. <laughs> it's like everyone is just so silent. So, what is happening there? What is happening there? Would anyone like to join me on the screen? Everyone is quiet. <laughs> everyone is quiet. Oh, we have fabulous charity in the building. Fabulous charity. Thank you so much for coming around. Fabulous charity. How are you doing today? Happy weekend to you and to your family. Happy weekend. Thank you for coming around. Okay. <laughs> Every day matters. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. So fabulous charity, we are talking about good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. The bad ones, we don't need them. We need to boost our good cholesterol. And my number one was make it you no know, go for fat omega-3 fatty acid. You find them in fatty fishes. My number two was you know, go for nuts, wild nuts, azel nuts, basil nuts, because they contain unsaturated fat, which is the best for the body. And I also talked about, I also talked about fibers. Yes, go eat foods that are rich in fibers. And my number four now, I'm talking about fruits, and I've mentioned berries, and now I'm going to apples. Yes. Oh, so I have a question in your previous video. I will ask you where you are. Oh, in my previous video, which video was that? Fabulous charity. I answered your question, fabulous charity. I saw your question. You were talking about almond. That was that video was too much milk is bad. It was this my YouTube short. I saw your question and I answered it immediately. So let me remind you your question. Your question was that is it good to take almond milk? Because that video I said too much milk is bad. And you know, I'm sorry, fans. I'm sorry, people. This is just a little digression. I just want to answer fabulous charity again. That question was, is it good to take almond milk? And I answered, I said, yes, because almond milk is plant-based. You understand? So it doesn't contain cholesterol. It doesn't contain fat. So you can take almond milk, any milk that is plant-based. You know, I said in that video that children are supposed to take all, you know, all fat, uh, fat milk, while adults should take lean milk. Okay. All right. So... You could also go for almond milk. Almond milk doesn't contain it doesn't contain fat. Okay. So fabulous charity, I've answered your question. You can also go back to that video. I answered your question right away. Okay. Julie Isi, thank you so much for coming around. Julie. <laughs> How are you doing, my eyes of family? Thank you. It's nice having you around. Julie, thank you. Okay, so fabulous charity. I hope I've answered your question. All right, so Julie, we are talking about those foods we can take to boost our good cholesterol and those lifestyle changes. And I'm right now in number four. Number four, I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, fruits now. I'm in number four, and I'm talking about fruits. I'm talking about fruits. So I mentioned berries. Berries are excellent for the proper functioning of you know circulation of blood around the body. I mentioned berries. And now I'm I'm coming to apples. Now apples contains leptin, and leptin helps to lower the bad cholesterol in the body, and also to improve the bad cholesterol to you know your good bad cholesterol ratio. Okay, okay, thanks. Even taking it frequently, yes, yes. So yes, you can just take it frequently. It's plant based, so of course there's no <laughs> no cholesterol. You understand? Evil minded TV. Wow. Evil minded. Wow. That's a powerful name. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much for coming around. Evil minded TV. Yeah, I think this is actually your very first time in my live stream. Thank you so much for coming around. How is your family? How is everyone doing? Evan. Oh, precious meal. <laughs> Precious meal, I've mentioned your name already. The other day you were saying that you are allergic to fatty fish. So if you are allergic to fatty fish, you can take wild nuts. Wild nuts also contains omega-3 fatty acid, okay? Precious meal. You are welcome. You are welcome, everybody. So we are four points gone already. Okay, so I mentioned those, you know, foods you can take to boost your good cholesterol. Your good cholesterol will help you to, you know, 
swim your bad cholesterol and pack them to your liver and then your liver will break them down and they are further expelled out of your body because when those bad cholesterol things begin to cluster in the wall of your blood vessels you know they begin to form what is called a plague and with that blood will not be circulated well around the body so good cholesterol helps to flush them to the liver and they are further expelled out of the body and i said number one is Number one was what? Oh, heavy day matters. You were here from the beginning. Boost your omega-3 fatty acid. And I said that you can do with fatty fish. So they are rich in linoleic acid, diphosyzanoic acid, and they are also rich in eicosapentanoic acid. And all these acids help to reduce your chances of developing heart disease, cardiovascular disease, fatty fish. You know, we have tuna, we have halibut, we have salmon, we have mackerel, we have sardines. You could just grill them, roast them, bake them instead of frying them. Number two was go for nuts. Nuts are very good for the body because they contain unsaturated fats. So I mentioned walnut and I said it walnut also contains omega 3 fatty acids. So you could swap walnut to fatty fish if you are allergic to fatty fish. You are welcome, Crowned Melody. Thank you so much for coming around, Crowned Melody. So wow we've got to move we've got to move so i also talk about beans and legumes beans and legumes are very good number three was go for fibers cherish fibers foods that are rich in fibers you could take oatmeal go for barley go for beans and lentils kidney beans black beans lentils they are very good for the body they contain fiber and the fiber help to keep your bad cholesterol from being absorbed into your blood stream so beans are very good for the body and then i talk about nuts i talk about olive oil olive oil contains you know unsaturated fat which are very good for the body then i talk about fruits too i think i'm on fruits i've talked about berries i've talked about berries now now i'm talking about apple so apple contains leptin and leptin helps to lower your bad cholesterol to also improve your bad cholesterol good cholesterol level isn't that interesting at the same time they also contain polyphenols your apples also contain polyphenols and polyphenols is a compound that helps to keep your arteries from being clogged or inflamed so this is what i'm talking about when your arteries begin to cluster they begin to plug you know when you take apples it prevents the clogging of your arteries and that way blood can be easily transferred Round the body, you understand. When enough blood doesn't get to the brain, over time it results into stroke. When enough blood doesn't get to the to the to the heart, you know the heart is pumping the blood, but the arteries in the heart also need blood. The muscles there also need blood. When enough blood doesn't get to them, it results into heart disease. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for staying back. Let's move. Let's move. I've talked about berries, I've talked about apples. So now I want to go to grapes. I'm on fruits now. I'm on number four, which is fruits. And I'm going to grapes now. So grapes, they contain antioxidant compounds. And like I explained before, antioxidants prevent oxidation. So they prevent oxidation, which is a, a process whereby the cells of the, the, the cells begin to get damaged. So when you take grapes, they contain antioxidants antioxidant compounds and the add LD fibers too they contain pectin pectin is another fiber that is very good for the heart that helps to bring your good cholesterol up and then to lower your bad cholesterol so that is it for grapes grapes are also very good you could just prepare a grape juice you could squeeze your grape but anytime i want to prepare my smoothie or my juice i like blending it you understand so that I can get all the fiber in that in that fruit. So I'm not the type that loves squeezing out the juice. No, I prefer to just peel the skin and then blend the old fruit so that by the time I drink it, I'm getting the old composition of fiber in that fruit. So you could just blend your grapes, prepare it at a smoothie, grapes and berries. You know, I have a lot of content creators here now. So you could just blend it. <laughs> I'm a kitchen, ground melody, precious meal, Julie EC. So you could just blend it, uh, every minded TV. Berries, grapes, they are excellent, excellent for the art. Fabulous charity. 
Oh, switch apple is the best for uh, the green or the other color. Yes, there are different types of apples. You could take any one you like. You understand? We have different shades of apples. You could take any one that you like. Although it's always said that, oh, when it comes to vegetables, the green one is always the best. When it comes to vegetables, you understand? Because they are we the the, the old component is still in the green ones. When the vegetable begins to turn yellow, then you know that it's already the components are already leaching away, they're already wearing away. But when it comes to apples, you could choose any variety that you love. Okay, that is it from fabulous charity. That is a question from fabulous charity. So I talk about grapes, I talk about grapes. So let's move further. We are getting gradually to the end. So I, that is it for grapes. And now I want to talk about cocoa and dark chocolate. Cocoa and dark chocolate. Now, they contain compounds that also help to lower your bad cholesterol and help you to get a healthier total cholesterol level. So, like I said, cheese remedy. Hey, Joyous Joyce, Uzoma, thank you so much for coming around. Joyous Joyce, cheese remedy. It's nice having you around. How are you doing? How is your family? We are 35 minutes gone already and we have. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Thank you so much, Joyous Joyce and Cheese Remedy. It's nice having you around. I'm seeing this name for the first time, Cheese Remedy. Happy weekend to you. Happy weekend to you, everyone. So I'm talking about cocoa and dark chocolate now. Nice one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, ever minded. Thank you, ma'am. So I'm talking about cocoa and that chocolate now. So they contain compounds that help to lower your bad cholesterol and help you to have it. Okay, so I was talking about total cholesterol. So when you go for a cholesterol test, they are going to check your good cholesterol, your bad cholesterol, and your triglycerides. Triglycerides is also a type of fat that is found in the blood. So these are the things they will check, and then they give you the sum total of your total cholesterol. Wow. Okay, so why don't you try going for a cholesterol check? Or oh, no, just call your doctor. I want to get my cholesterol level checked. It's very important. It's very. It doesn't have to do with I'm slim or I'm fat. You could be slim and your cholesterol could be very high. You understand? Especially if it's the one that is inherited, the the familiar one. So, all right, Joyce Joyce is greeting every day matters. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Miss Kitchen. Please don't forget to thumbs up for the host as you come in. And please share me out if you can, <laughs> even if we are 35 minutes gone. <laughs> okay, so let's continue now. So I'm talking about cocoa and dark chocolate now. They contain compounds that help to lower your cholesterol level. At the same time, you could just tear cocoa powder into your morning oatmeal. You understand? The other time I talked about taking fibers and I mentioned oatmeal. You could just blend cook i know we have a lot of amazing content creators here so i'm giving you ideas already all of you <laughs> you could just blend cocoa powder and you know prepare a hot meal just do it as one minute short <laughs> just do a video shot of one minute just prepare your oatmeal sprinkle your cocoa powder into it or your yogurt you know steer cocoa powder in your oatmeal or you steer it in your Greek yogurt and oh that's very excellent okay let's hear from you fabulous charity let's hear your question fabulous charity so that is it for cocoa and dark chocolate they are very good for the arts they are very good for the for improving your good cholesterol so another thing i want to talk about is processed soy so i so i put on soy 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 <laughs> people say salmic okay sal product so we have the ones that are minimally processed. You could go for minimally processed soy products. So like your cheese. Yeah, I'm talking about your tofu. So examples are your tofu, miso, tempeh. You could go for this. Oh, thank you so much, Fire Melody. Thank you, everyone, for staying there. I can see you all. Fire Melody, Amen's Kitchen, Sky Figo, Cheese Remedy, Every My Dad. Erica B TV, Wilson Gordon, every one of you, thank you. Thank you. Joyous Joyce, thank you for staying there. So you could go for Tofu, Miso, Tempe. And Fabulous Charity, if you would like to come on stage, let me know because uh, I can see you are here for it today, big time. 
So if you'd like to join me on screen, there's anyone who'd like to join me on screen, kindly let me know. I'm trying to do that button. You know, once in a while, these things, things, things happen. And, uh... <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me just continue so that I don't make any mess. All right, so another thing I'll be talking about now is your vegetables now. Leafy greens, not just vegetables, greens, leafy greens now. So dark leaves, like I said the other time, when you go for your vegetables, if the original color is dark, then you should go for the dark ones. You don't leave the green ones and go for the yellow ones because they are cheaper than the green ones. <laughs> because the green ones are richer okay so dark leaves can bind to your bile acids and this could help your your body to flush to flush out bad cholesterol and step up your good to bad cholesterol ratio so did you just hear that peace tom peace tom thank you so much for coming around peace tom good afternoon to you how are you how is nigeria today peace tom Oh, if someone is suffering from high blood pressure, what food can you recommend for the person in terms of fruits and vegetables? Yes, my dear, high blood pressure is also a cardiovascular issue. You understand? It has to do with the cardiovascular system. When I say cardiovascular, it has to do with the heart, the blood vessels, and their, how they function. So what we are talking about today, good cholesterol, is also the, is a cardiovascular issue. When the blood cholesterol is high, is a cardiovascular issue. Heart disease is a cardiovascular issue. Uh, high blood pressure is also a cardiovascular issue. But nevertheless, when it comes to high blood pressure, such a person should not joke with pomegranates. You understand? Uh, fabulous. Oh, please, can you excuse me? Can you please excuse me? Sorry, please. So such a person should not joke with pomegranates. Okay. I'm here but working. Oh, thank you, Peace Tom. Thank you. Okay, I understand. Okay, everyday matter said I should discuss it in my next. Okay, if you want me to make it a topic, I can actually do that. So let me just paraphrase. Pomegranates are very good for the heart. Pomegranates are very good for blood pressure. Pomegranates and berries. Berries and pomegranates. They are very, very good for blood pressure. So I'm going to stop there and like someone suggested, I'll be taking it as a topic on its own. I hope everyone here will come around next week. Wow, this is quite interesting. I'm really impressed with the number of people we have here today. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for coming around. Thank you for hearing my call. Heaven will hear your call in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Okay, I also have Beautify Me channel in the building. Beautify me. Thank you for coming around. Thank you. Yes, yes, I'm a sketchy. That was what I was saying. Berries and pomegranate are very good for blood pressure. Yes. So I'm a sketchy just confirmed it now. <laughs> ah, beautify me channel. Good job. Thank you so much. Beautify me. Oh, thank you. Peace Tom. Thank you. We are not looking bad to <laughs> I hope I'm actually streaming with my laptop and I notice anytime I use my laptop, it's always kind of darker compared to my phone. I just hope that it's not too dark, you understand? I'm using my laptop and the way I'm seeing it is like it's dark, but if I, if I stream with my phone, it's always bright, but at the same time, we move, we move. <laughs> we move. Okay, so. Let's continue to leafy greens now, leafy greens. So dark leaves can bind to your bile acids, which can help our body to flush out bad cholesterol. And then step up your good cholesterol. Apart from that, leafy greens also contains antioxidants, antioxidants, yes. Antioxidants like lutein, lutein. Lutein has been shown to prevent cholesterol from from sticking to the wall of your arteries. Isn't that interesting? When the cholesterol wants to stick to the wall of your artery and lutein will say, no, 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 don't stick, don't stick. <laughs> so go for leafy vegetables like kale, broccoli, grab them around you, go for the green ones. Don't always go to market and focus on the yellow ones because they are cheaper than the green ones. 
the people that put the price there, they know what they are doing. They know that these green ones, they retain the old component, the old vitamins are present in the green ones. So when you go for your vegetables, always target the green ones, okay? All right, so, and the very, okay, the very last food. No, I'll be talking about food now. I'll briefly, I will talk on the lifestyle changes. So the very last I would like to say on food is green tea. Green tea. Green tea are also excellent. Green tea are excellent. It's okay, goes okay. Thank you. It's okay. So green tea, they are loaded with a family of antioxidants that are called catechin. They contain catechin, and catechin has been shown to help to reduce your bad reduce the bad cholesterol and then the whole body cholesterol concentration. So green tea are very good for the body. And I forgot to mention oranges. How could I forget oranges? Eh? Oranges that are the chief of uh, vitamin C, the professor of vitamin C. <laughs> okay. Oh, I take green tea a lot. I'm in speech. Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. Green tea are very good. So. How can I forget the professor emeritus of vitamin C? <laughs> Which happens to be orange. Okay. So orange contains bioflavonoids. Orange contains bioflavonoids. And bioflavonoids in oranges are called esperidine. And esperidine has been shown in trials to help you to promote higher levels of good cholesterol. Now, there is something unique about orange. If you don't like fruit at all, you must like orange. <laughs> is that okay? So if you don't like fruit at all, come on, you must like orange. <laughs> orange have professor emeritus of fibers and vitamin C. Okay, so you must like orange. You have to like orange. <laughs> Oh, they contain esperidine. Esperidine is a bioflavonoid, and esperidine will help to boost your good cholesterol. And oranges contain fiber, and fiber will also slow down the absorption of bad cholesterol into your bloodstream. Apart from absorption of bad cholesterol, it will also slow down the absorption of sugar. That is why when you take orange, you don't bother about the sugar because the fiber in your orange will, will slow down the absorption of that sugar. Hey, I'm cooking them all. Oh, thank you for staying in the background. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So those are the foods you can take. The list is actually endless, but for the food, I would like to stop here. So who can tell me some of those foods I mentioned? Yes, please write them in the comment section. If you are, if you are listening, you're a good student. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm cooking them all. Thank you so much for coming around. So. I talk about fatty fish, I talk about olive oil, oatmeal, beans and legumes, apples, avocado. Thank you, once cooking and more. It's nice having you around. Thank you so much. Have a happy weekend. I talk about berries, walnuts, almonds, barley, grapes, cocoa and dark chocolates, soy products. Go for the minimally processed ones, you understand? I talk about leafy greens, I mentioned orange, I mentioned green tea. Now, let's go to the lifestyle changes. I'll just be talking briefly on the lifestyle changes. Apples. Oh, thank you. Come, Melody. Apples. Okay, so let me talk briefly on the lifestyle changes. Now, I would like to say this now. Now, when it comes to eating and eating, it's good to eat, but you should always pay attention to portion sizes when you eat. Now, good cholesterols are typically lower in people that have metabolic syndrome. They are, they are just low in people that have metabolic syndrome. And this, this, is, this syndrome is, is a cluster of conditions that include obesity, increased blood pressure, and also high blood sugar. Oh, Precious meal just gave me for the beautiful slap. Thank you. Thank you for the beautiful slap. Oh my mind. Thank you, precious meal. Thank you. God bless you. Oranges are essential for the body to function well. Yes, yes. 
Thank you. God bless you. Precious me. Your pockets will never run dry. Yes. We have just like five minutes to round up the live stream. We have five minutes to go. Thank you, precious me. So I said, good cholesterol are typically lower in people that have cholesterol syndrome. And it's a cluster of conditions that include obesity, increased blood pressure, and high blood sugar levels. So it's, it's very, very bad. Ah, cheese remedy, precious. God bless you, precious me. Yes, thank you, precious me. Okay, so extra pounds. When you eat and you eat and you don't exercise, you gain so much extra pounds, you are more likely to get high cholesterol when you accumulate so much extra pounds. High blood pressure too. The type 2 diabetes too. So good cholesterols, they are generally low in people that have this, in this, this metabolic syndrome. So these are all... This all affects the lining of your arteries, making them likely to collect plague from cholesterol. And losing weight, especially belly fat, helps to raise your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol. Did you just hear that? Losing weight, especially belly fat, helps to lower your good, lower your bad cholesterol and shoot up your good cholesterol. So because when you accumulate so much belly fat, it could result into, into metabolic syndrome. So I shot a video on the other time on, you know, how you could lower your belly fat. If you are yet to watch that video, please kindly do so, kindly do so. It's very informative. You really need to lower your belly fat in order to reduce your chances of developing metabolic syndrome. Preventing on the go in the beauty. <laughs> Preventing on the go. Thank you so much for coming. And we are rounding up already, but you are much, much welcome. You are welcome. Preventing on the go. How are you doing today? How is the family doing today? So we've talked about those foods you can take to improve your good cholesterol. I'm talking about the lifestyle changes. And now I'm talking about overeating. You don't overeat and then you don't exercise. All this would reduce your good cholesterol and shoot your bad cholesterol. So Make sure that you keep a check on your weight. The very first lifestyle changes now is keep a check on your weight and don't overeat. Don't be a gluten. Don't just eat everything that comes around you. Keep a check on your weight. Don't be overweight. Don't allow obesity in your body. Okay? <laughs> and number two is exercise regularly. A good way to shed off extra calories is to, okay, is to, is to exercise regularly. So, Exercise can help you to lose weight, lower your triglycerides. Like I said, it's a type of fat that is found in the body. And it is the most common type of fat that is found in your body. And it could also help to increase your good cholesterol. So even if it is 60 minutes of intensive workout in a week, you know, most of the time you are always recommending 150 minutes of exercise in a week, which is actually good. But should in case you can't meet up with 150 minutes, you can try 50, 60 minutes, one hour. You understand? You could try 60 minutes in a week. It's something. It has been shown to help to improve your good cholesterol. You know, I did a shot like three days ago, you know, showing you simple things you can use at home to exercise. I showed you my exercise ball. If you don't have exercise ball, you can use water. Just take your water bottle, two liters of water, one on your left, one on your right, and do it for 10 minutes. By the time you do that, every day just with your water bottles at home that's 60 minutes already or you do it consecutively sunday to sunday that's 70 minutes in a week it's something don't just be at home and you don't exercise just go come in you don't exercise your body it will help to to cut down your weight and to boost your good cholesterol so moderate exercise very good for the body check your weight from time to time keep a check on your weight make sure that you don't allow you know obesity in your body and that is where i would like to call it a wrap for today <laughs> that is where i would like to call it a wrap for today thank you everyone for coming around boss and connor's tv oh 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 <laughs> thank you mama <laughs> you're calling it a wrap for the day now thank you for coming around boss and connor's tv yes cheese remedy says keep a check Keep a check on your weight. Very important. Yes. Keep a check on your weight. Don't overeat. Don't be a gluten. Don't eat everything that comes your way. 
pay attention to portion sizes and always exercise regularly exercise regularly exercise regularly if you can't meet up with 150 minutes in a week go for 60 minutes start from there start something okay thank you for coming bossy corners tv happy weekend to you mama any advice on how to get what um, <laughs> okay thank you for the lectures thank you everyone thank you everyone for coming around please don't forget to thumbs up i will also be expecting your comments in the comment section okay i just finished workout wow that is great <laughs> Bosset Connors TV say, I just finished workout. That is great. So, cheese remedy to answer your question. Just connect with people and tell them to assist you. You understand? While I was looking for mine, I just connected. You no know, people were just helping me. God just sent helpers to me. Some people, I don't even tell them. They just call me. Hey, I'm helping you to do this. I'm helping you with that. You understand? Cheese remedy. So, just get in touch with people and tell them to assist you, you know, with it. You understand? Okay, that is what I can say. Cheese remedy. And make sure that you go live from time to time. Okay? Go live from time to time so that you can get long hours. You could go for live streaming, two hours live streaming. If you are if you have Wi-Fi, go for two hours, three hours live streaming. You understand? Cheese remedy. And upload regularly too. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Every day matters. Yes. I am doing exercise as well. I'll go for work after my premiere. Okay. All right. Every day matters. Thank you. Every day matters as premiere by 2 p.m. So if you can also check in, check in into our premiere. It's coming up very soon by 2 p.m. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Chief Remedy. Yes. Thank you. Everyone, thank you for coming around. I appreciate you all, every one of you. Wow, we still have this number of people waiting till the end. Oh, I'm so grateful to every one of you, those that came, those that shared me out, those that didn't share me out. Every one of you, thank you for eating to my call. Every we eat to your call in Jesus' name. And if you are watching this repeat broadcast and you're coming across my channel for the very first time, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, Leave your comments with me in the comment section and also share this video if you find it so interesting, helpful, informative, educative, and beneficial. And if you are watching and you are here to subscribe to my channel, kindly press that subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell and set it to the word call so that you could get all notifications anytime I upload. And if you would also like to support this channel financially, that join button is in front there. Just press that button and you will be guided on how to support this channel financially. Thank you everyone for coming around. See you on my next upload. Oh, Marian channel. Marian Samuel. Thank you. Mommy and me. Thank you. I'm rounding up already. Thank you. You can watch the repeat broadcast. I'm rounding up already. Thank you everyone. God bless you all. Thank you. Boss Connor says, God bless you all. God bless you all. Chief Remedy, thank you. Marian Samuel, Pound Melody, thank you. Precious Meal, thank you. Everyday Matters, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Amaze Kitchen, yeah, thank you. Preventing on the go, thank you. Sky Figo, thank you. Precious Meal, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. And Cooking and More, thank you. Peace Tom. Thank you, Erica BTV, Fabulous Charity, Julie Easy. Yeah, thank you, Pound Melody, Joyous Joyce, Uzoma, Evil Minded TV. Thank you. I hope I didn't skip your name. I hope, yes, we'll sing God on Ghana. Thank you, every one of you. Thank you. See you on my next upload. I wish you a happy weekend and bye for now. Thanks for watching.